Hello there everyone, my name is Nusqualo and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, the background behind my trading station is green and this means that Bitcoin is pumping. But in this video, let's talk about this pump, whether you should trust it, what are the price targets, what are the current resistances, what did I do with my trades that I mentioned in the previous video. If you, have, if you haven't seen the previous video, then you haven't made any money because I give you precise scenarios of what to do and how to actually play it to make money. But the funny thing is that we were trading actively yeah, in the Telegram channel yesterday. So go join my free Telegram channel. There is a link down in the description of this video. Huge trading community. And I told it was it's you know one of these situations when I'm Mr. Spot on. So call me Mr. Spot on down in the comments right now because I messed it up myself last night and that was like damn it. Because <laughs> when I woke up in the morning I was like fuck <laughs> But I'm going to show you exactly what I uh, did and how it played out. Was I trusting this move or not? But, you know, this was one of the moments when even I, Mr. Spot on, which is rare, but I lost money yesterday. Well, this morning, suppose, uh, well, I suppose. So I'm going to show you exactly what happened and what I'm currently personally doing. And in just a couple of days, there's going to be a huge catalyst for price move on Bitcoin and all high risk assets. So really watch this video from the beginning and until the end, because very important stuff is coming from macro space as well. And it's going to be a huge actually deciding factor also whether we're going to go and and break out of this flag going upward again remember this is the daily flag very important right now or we finally are going to go lower and break down to our actually to our bearish targets so this is going to be at the end of the video and as always if you're brand new to the channel guys and girls please consider subscribing a lot to learn here and uh, also hit that notification bell so you're always notified when i make a new upload and all i'm asking guys and girls leave a like on this video it's very simple and it's a lot easier than me creating these videos for you guys and girls every day and it motivates me every Every morning to wake up to see wow on the previous video we have 1500 likes i'm gonna make another video for you guys today go down and like the video thank you very much and very much appreciate it as always and there is also a share button down below here on youtube but if you feel like sharing it on your social media would be very much appreciated so anyway uh that was a very nice intro very lovely one what do you think let me know in the comments the daily chart so we just bounced off of this support and we were forming a squeeze in here so let's just go back and we saw this incredible beautiful squeeze uh, that actually broke down let me just well it's fine whatever so it broke down and I've taken a short trade from here thinking you know I was trying to be the smart one so I was trying to be the because I like to do this I like to find all the earliest entries possible and I always tell you and I always show you guys all my trades and that's why you call me Mr. Spot on that I'm transparent I'm not one of those moon boys who gets liquidated 10 times in a row and doesn't even mention it you know so let me know in the comments if you know people like this so I don't want to call any names but you know I show you everything so basically here and my target was uh, 18,000 because in the current macro environment everything is really bad so as it started to reverse I was looking at this and I was like wondering okay should we because I told you also yesterday that if we close above this resistance with some volume it's a great place to long it to just flip long and you know my strategy that I really like when there is a certain formation there's always two ways and it's sometimes difficult to predict it with 100% accuracy so if you see changing momentum just flip it so that's what I do and that oftentimes I've made a lot of money. I mean, this year we've made a lot of money like this. You can watch my previous videos with crazy profits. So, and here I was hesitant. So as the price went up and we theoretically in the four hour chart, we closed below right here. So it was, it was very painful and the volume was really low. So for me, it was like, nah, I just couldn't pull myself together. Even the volume here, it went up a little bit, but it did did here so not at the break at the break volume was low so it was really painful for me to really flip and if we're going to go to a smaller time frame then we're going to see that we tested it we got rejected we tested it we got rejected and then we formed another uh, formation here which actually constituted i would probably say more of a floating level so a floating level basically is a level that is just unevident you know it's just losing its relevance because it's becoming a floating one and in this instance the floating one was the one from the daily chart the one the most important one that we were actually um I oh, know, excuse me, this one from the four hour chart, it became ever so slightly floaty. And it's always very tough to trade these kinds of levels. But uh, since we had our strategy in place, uh, I was waiting for to see what's going to happen here. Uh, and uh, right here, it was like, 
probably like 2 a.m. Dubai time. So I just gave up. I placed my stop loss right here because it's very difficult to make it automatically to flip the trade that can actually screw it up. So that's why I didn't do it. I wanted to do it manually and I wanted to update to you guys in Telegram as well. But I just went to sleep because it was like 2 something a.m. And as soon as I went to sleep, as soon as I closed my eyes and as soon as I started dreaming of all the money we we're making, it pumped. So it just got, it stopped me out. So if you actually um, hanged around until like 3 a.m. Dubai time and actually took this breakout and closed your short trade and have taken this insane long and recouped all the losses, then congratulations. Because for me, I just got stopped out and that's it. But again, the volume wasn't there and it was very weird and very uncomfortable really because I was thinking maybe we're going to break down again and it's going to be another bigger rejection in a bigger time frame. So for me, Mr. Sporon has taken a loss on this one, a small loss in comparison to all the hugest profits. So I'm not perfect either. So that's why some support for Thomas Kroalo for missing this move, even though I told you that this is something that is absolutely takeable. So anyway, uh, and the, but the good thing is that thanks to BitGet's um, uh, rebate system, even though I had a small loss, I recouped some of my losses thanks to the rebates for all the trades, you know, for all the um, uh, commissions that I'm paying, I'm getting rebate back into my spot account. And you guys can do this as well. And if you're even if you're a break even trader, and or you know, you lose some money, then at the end of the day, within 24 hours, you're gonna get your rebates back into your account on the trading commissions, which is absolutely insane. And also going to be getting these bonuses, including up to $8,000 in deposit bonuses and a 20 USDT sign up bonus, all of which is by the way, can be found, you have to actually go to a reward center and claim all those bonuses. So uh, use my link in the description or in the pinned comment to claim all these insane bonuses. There is also a link to buy bet uh, with $4,100 bonus and also Binance with $600 bonus. But I personally trade with BitGet because they're giving you this insane cash back, much bigger uh, deposit bonuses than really any other exchange. And you're getting also the biggest copy trading platform. I'm going to link a tutorial to copy trading right here that you can actually copy other traders without doing anything. So it's pretty cool. Now, let's move on back to the chart. And let's talk about what we were expecting. So if you're going to go to this chart right here, oh, nope, not this one, we're going to see that we actually just pumped back above a very important critical resistance, which is the area between um, 19,600 and 20,000 dollars. So we are above 20k yet again. And you remember, this is a huge order block. And that has been very important from us previously. So we are right now in this vicinity, and where we're going to see a lot of resistance coming in very soon. But let's quickly take a look at the EMA ribbon. And we need a daily chart. And right now we are pumping right into the EMA ribbon. And remember what has happened every time before this. So for me, I'm not necessarily really trusting this right now. This, there is, again, a very good possibility. Let's go back to the cleaner chart that I made for, just for you guys, that we're going to have, as, as, as I said in the previous video, that if we're going to pump here, then our target is going to be about $21,000. And this you could take a trade from 19K to 21K, uh, to like 20K as well, just to be reasonable. And this is going to be this mega big resistance. So this is very obvious. So I wouldn't have anything, you know, any target beyond 21k at the most, I would even say 20,500. So this is our current target in this vicinity. But since we just took a look at the EMA ribbon, and we've seen many rejections, and oftentimes remember, guys, what when did it get rejected? It usually was with some CPI, or some uh, Federal Reserve meeting, whatever. So it was always with some reason that this also was not just technical, it, it, you, it turned into a technical meltdown and a technical sell off. But um, it was like a double trouble, as I called them. But in reality, what it was initially when it was pumping above EMA ribbon and then crashing down below, it was a fundamental macro reason. So and that's why I love in the bear market, you always have to, you know, macro is predominant. So what is the macro reason that is coming up? Do you guys know? Let me know that in the comments right now. If you know, are you a good trader? Because if you are a good trader, you should know these things. So what is coming up right now is the PCE data, personal consumption expenditures price index, well, basically report on inflation, which is coming out, uh, I believe it's 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, September 30th. Correct me if I'm wrong, on the time and what we were expecting from this, let's quickly talk about the expectations because you guys have to be educated. You know, you need to know what to see here. So uh, basically, the expectations are right here in investing. And 
I am still seeing my own ads. And yes, if you want to learn how to do all these things yourself and take amazing trades yourself with a good, consistent results like Thomas Crawlow, Mr. Spot On, then go to offer.thomascrawlow.com and claim one of the seats. Uh, we gave, uh, we extended it with, we gave another extra 50 seats to with the 50% off. So uh, the forecast is currently 4.7, even though previous was so. The forecast currently, the market is trying to price in the increase in inflation, so uh, rather than a drop. So this is quite interesting because if we're gonna see again, because like last time, the um, uh, forecast was 4.7 and we got 4.6. So it was actually very positive and it gave us a little bit of positivity, which actually, and in the price, if you remember where this was, it was exactly right here. And this positivity, we did ride a little bit on the positivity, but then this technical level just rejected us and we moved down so uh, right now what I'm thinking is that if we're gonna have the expectation of 4.7 uh, and oh, not this one let's go this one let's take a look at the current release uh, 6.3 is the overall one actually so here is the 4.6 so the market is expecting 4.7 so I would say if it's gonna be 4.6 or below it's again gonna be very very bullish and certainly um, the reason why they're looking just at this one the PC excluding food and energy is because the one this one most likely is um, the overall one which we're gonna see right here the total one is probably gonna go down more most likely simply because of the oil if we're gonna go and take a look at the oil we're gonna see a massive drop let's turn off the EMA ribbon it's irrelevant and we're gonna see a 41 percent drop in the oil already so we're gonna definitely see the decrease in inflation the one that includes um, energy and um, oil so uh, there and fuel so this is something that is very obvious. Therefore, we are we should be more focused on the one without it. So if anything is going to be below 4.6 or below, it's going to definitely be very bullish. This is going to be in a long term perspective going to affect the uh, Federal Reserve's actions and uh, now quantitative tightening. However, guys and girls, I have to mention that even though I'm currently talking about it in a positive tone, if we're going to have a forecast of 4.7, we're going to see something like 4.8. Or, you know, well, 4.7 itself is going to be quite neutral, but still is going to be more bearish than bullish, in my opinion, because it's going to be more than the previous month. And this is obvious. But if it's going to be something like 4.8 or something like 4.9, which is probably very unlikely, then I don't have to tell you obvious things that we're going to definitely break down below. I think that this is going to be the catalyst for the breakout out of this whole wedge right here, in my personal humble opinion. And then remember that if it's going to be something like worse than expected in terms of PCE, then hello, the complete breakdown from this wedge right here. This is my personal humble opinion. So I'm going to link a course to crypto for beginners that I've done. Check it out right here. You're going to learn a lot. Make some noise out in the comments for Mr. Spot on. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also share this video. There is a share button down below here on YouTube. And as always, stay smart, stay rich. Peace and love. Thomas Crawlow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.